Hi, I'm Karthik, and in this video, I'll present our uh, work on physical layer defense against eavesdropping attacks on low resolution phased arrays. This work is in collaboration with Dr. Nitin Myers from Delft University of Technology in Netherlands and Professor Robert Heath from North Carolina State University. Before going into the details, here is a brief overview of beamforming for millimeter wave communications. In the phased arrays, also known as analog arrays, the transmitter controls the phase of the phase shifters at each antenna element, and the choice of these phases on the phase shifters define a beamforming vector. The discrete Fourier transform of this beamforming vector characterizes the array gain observed along uh, different directions. And in this presentation, we use F as F for the beamformer and F tilde for the uh, array gain along on grid directions. Note that usually either analog or hybrid antenna arrays are used for millimeter wave communication, but we use analog arrays or phased arrays for explanation in this presentation. There is one limitation of the phased arrays. It is extremely hard to design a phased arrays with the phase shifters that can add arbitrary phase shifts. In practice, low resolution phase shifters are used because they provide simpler design and uh, robust phase shifts. However, due to limited degree of freedom, the low resolution phase shifters also add imperfections in the generated beams. And as a result, it introduces energy leakage. This energy leakage can be exploited by the eavesdropper as shown on the left. On the right, we show two figures for power transmitted along the target direction and the energy leakage along the other directions. It turns out that uh, lower the resolution, the higher the uh, energy leakage. In fact, in case of one bit phase shifters, uh, exactly half of the transmitted energy is leaked to a direction that is mirror symmetric about zero degree. So to tackle this eavesdropping dropping problem, a number of approaches have been proposed for analog phase terrace, mainly uh, directional modulation based approaches are the most feasible for analog arrays with uh, limited degree of freedom. So first one among them is say antenna subset modulation. So for antenna subset modulation, uh, the transmitter turns off a randomly selected subset of antennas at every symbol. By turning off this uh, random sample of antennas at every symbol, it essentially means that the transmitter is trying to introduce some sort of artificial noise along all the directions. The second method is antenna defacing. We call it DINT for destructive interference. In this method, a subset of antennas is selected and their phases are set such that they destructively interfere uh, rest of the antennas. Again, this uh, it, 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 it can be shown that this method also introduces sort of artificial noise along all the directions. However, both these methods reduce beam forming, beam forming gain along the target direction because a chosen subset of antennas are either turned off or they destructively interfere. Even more importantly, they are ineffective when using low resolution phased arrays because the generated artificial noise is not as much as the energy leakage due to imperfections. Okay, we now describe our circular shift based beamforming. Recall that F is the beamformer and F tilde are the array gain vectors um, along the on grid directions. Let, let's see what happens when we circulantly shift a beamformer. So when we shift the beamformer by one step, uh, we call we denote that shifted beamformer as P1F. Uh, then observe that the circulant shifts of the uh, of a beamformer induce different phase changes along different directions. This is the direct observation from circulant shift property of DFT because beamformer and the beamforming gain vectors are uh, DFT pairs. We use this observation to design our CSB defense technique. Our defense technique called circulant shift based beamforming applies random circulant shift of the beamformer at each symbol. Say K step uh, circulant shift is applied to a beamformer. Then all the directions should see different phase change uh, that depends on K. This is same as rotating constellation differently along different directions. Now we can correct the phase of the transmitted symbol such that the target receiver receives the correct symbol since the transmitter is expected to know the direction of the target receiver and the applied beamforming. The required phase correction is also known at the transmitter. Then instead of transmitting symbol S, 
the transmitter can transmit a symbol with a modified phase and this means that the target receiver gets correct symbol however even with the correction even with this phase correction all other direction does have perturbation that depends on the random shift by the transmitter which is unknown at the eavesdropper so let's see an example we use eight antennas with one bit phase shifters transmitting a qpsk constellation in this figure at every step of the circulant shift the constellation observed at the eavesdropper is rotated after correcting constellation at the target receiver so by randomizing the number of circulant shifts at each symbol the transmitter essentially induces uh, artificial phase noise along all the directions other than the target receiver i described the characteristics of the artificial phase noise uh, along the on grid directions in the next slide and show that it is impossible to perfectly decode the received symbols along almost all on grid directions to see how csb defense work in theory first recall that beam former and beam forming gains uh, along on grid directions make dft pair then circular shift of a beam former introduce linear phase change in the uh, array gain vector so in lemma 1 of the paper we first show that when transmitter shifts the beam former pointing to lth direction by k steps then phase change along mth direction is given by this term in lemma 2 we show that if the transmitter randomizes k then there are only certain phase changes that are available along m direction so for instance if delta n and n both are even then that limits the possible number of phase rotations available and in lemma 3 we show that out of all available phase rotations only some of those rotations create ambiguity when uh, being used with mpsk constellation based on results from number theory we characterize this uh, uh, equation hence using csb defense perturbs the received symbols such that it is equivalent of using a part of constellation instead of whole along the unintended directions and as also described in the paper in most cases this is equivalent to only using one psk constellation which gives zero information before going into results uh, we also describe the implementation of this technique in the paper the transmitter can transmit training sequences as usual without changes in the beam former this allows the receiver to estimate and correct the channel impairments without any phase phase perturbations however at each data symbol transmission the beam former is circulantly shifted by a random number of steps and transmitter transmits the corresponding phase adjusted data symbols thus receiver receives correct symbols at the eavesdropper even with uh, channel impairment corrections receives symbols that cannot be decoded because it does not know the random circulant shift applied by the transmitter one point we would like to emphasize here is that although changing beam format at every time step is feasible only sufficient condition for our method to work is that beam former is modified before and after transmission of any known symbols as long as that is valid the eavesdropper cannot accurately estimate the unknown data symbols now coming to the results we first plot the secrecy mutual information along all directions when receiver is at 50 degree uh, direction and we assume that channels to the re receiver and the eavesdroppers are line of sight channels so there are two points to observe here number one is that artificial noise that is generated by asm and uh, dint is not enough to counter the leakage energy of the transmitted signal we can clearly see that along the mirror symmetric direction we see significant uh, reduction in the secrecy mutual information second point to observe here is that csb defense provides better secrecy rate because number one the receiver receives higher energy and number two the artificial phase noise that is induced along all the unintended directions corrupt the data even with high uh, leakage energy so one thing to note in this plot is that secrecy rate along off grid directions although it is better than both asm and dint methods it could reduce as the power received at the eavesdropper increases thus in this slide we also compare the smi for different 
values of transmitted power. We can observe that in the low power regime, CSB is better because the ASM and DINT methods are limited by the low trans lower and lower transmitted power. In high power regime, however, we see there is a slight reduction in the SMI due to non-uniform distortion in the constellation along off-grid directions, while ASM and DINT saturates. However, for all practical scenarios of the received power at the eavesdropper, CSB defense is still better than ASM and DINT. And finally, we now also discuss a uh, limitation of our method. More generally, this is a limitation of uh, all the directional modulation based defenses. The DM based methods perturbs constellation in all directions, but one target direction. In the multipath setting, this means that the receiver receives multiple perturbed constellations from non-dominant paths and one unperturbed constellation from the dominant path. And all of these uh, constellations combine together at the receiver. This affects the symbol recovery at the receiver. To show that, we use Raishan child channel model to analyze the effect of multipath. We first use NYU sim to generate the channels and scale the dominant path to get a channel with a specific Raishan factor. We see that as the power of non-dominant path increases, which is going towards the negative x-axis, the gap between the symbol error rate at the receiver with and without CSB defense increases. Finally, to conclude in this paper, we propose a novel beamforming technique that applies random circular shifts of the beamformer. With appropriate phase corrections, these shifts introduce artificial phase noise in the di different directions. We provide theoretical guarantee on the performance of the CSB defense for the case when receiver and eavesdroppers are on, the, on grid. And we focused on the simplicity of the defense and showed that how it can be implemented in practice. Finally, we showed that CSB provides better performance than at ASM and uh, DINT methods. ASM and DINT methods are ineffective on low resolution phase arrays, whereas CSB focuses on corrupting the phase, thus even with high energy leakage, this phase cannot be recovered. Thank you.